Yeah. I'm a fan of you. Uh, I'm a Trevor Noah fan. Why? If you're a fan of me, I don't need to be a fan of Trevor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a thieving motherfucker. <laughs> why you say that? <laughs> Trevor's a th- What do you mean? Why do I say that? Go yeah. review the fucking tapes. Oh, we're well, being serious. Yeah. Nah, Trevor's original, man. Trevor's Where? A- Our conversation today is going to be focused on a couple of different things, and the ethos of our publication is redefining masculinity for the modern gentleman. I don't even know what that means, but I don't like the way it sounds. You don't? No. Okay, well, we're going to get comfortable Redefining masculinity. Well, the idea is over the last couple of years, a lot of men being locked down lost all their distractions, right? They couldn't go to see comedy shows. They couldn't play sports. They couldn't go out with friends. And a lot of men realized that they, that they had an affinity to Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and what is going on in this world right now? What, right. Are, you, what are you covering? Well, you know, I'm covering cancel culture. I'm covering the, gen- g- the millennials and the Gen Zs. Yeah. And, uh, and as opposed to pointing the finger at them, I'm actually pointing the finger at our generation. What, what did we do? We created those generations. No, we didn't. We are mad at what we created. We didn't create. You feel that you, you're taking responsibility no, for we that? We are. You know why? We took away all adversity from them. I like listening to people speak Russian. You ever heard people speak Russian? It's amazing. They just sound like they're talking backwards the whole time. Vladimir. <laughs> My dream at 14, here's what I thought I was going to do for the rest of my life. I thought <laughs> I wanted to be a dancer. <laughs> all right, first of all, fuck you, all right? Um, and it was very different. I'd never been to Saudi Arabia before because I was always scared to go to Saudi Arabia. Everybody was like, Saudi Arabia? I'm like, fuck you. And, and that's based on watching the news in America. And I'm like, well, you better not go to Saudi Arabia or they'll tie you to two different camels and they'll make them run away. You know what I mean? That, <laughs> That's all you ever hear about Saudi Arabia is that torture and beheadings and they kill you and you watch what you say and that's all true. <laughs> I just learned how to say how are you in Russian, that's why. You know say how are you in Russian, Vince? Cock dealer. <laughs> I swear, this Russian guy walks up and goes, hey, cock dealer. I go, hey, 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 man. <laughs> I don't give a shit if you're a blackjack dealer, all right? come around here offering me all that and you find vag dealer send her over and you bro you're indian yeah i could see that um i i have eyes um i'm glad you're here he's having a problem with his laptop and um <laughs> i mean they're trying to implement this rule and that rule and you need to worry about that feeling and those feelings and i'm like no no we're, we're t- everybody's so self-centered and so into how they feel that they feel you need to feel it too. And I'm like, yeah. no, that's not the way the world works. If you think about the breakdown of Osama bin Laden, he's very similar to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the spoiled brat's billionaire son of a developer <laughs> who's fucking mad at everybody, you know what I mean? Mm, she's literally the meaning of 7-Eleven. Seven, Seven guys with 11 inches. That's, uh... I like Ireland. You know, here's the thing. In America, everybody claims to be Irish. Every white person in America says they're Irish. I was in Boston. If you ever go to Boston, it'll freak you out. Everybody in Boston thinks they're Irish. I'm, in, I'm there. I'm like, what are you, man? He goes, fucking Irish. I go, oh, cool. What part? Boston. <laughs> I forgot about that bridge they built. Yeah. yeah. Your parents from Ireland? Nah, Boston. Grandparents, Boston. Great grandparent Boston. When the fuck were you Irish? Uh, everybody's talking about you know comics now with Chappelle getting run up on stage and mm-hmm. Chris Rock at the Oscars. Is that a thing? Are you guys talking about that? No. I uh, listen. I've been doing jujitsu for seven years. Yeah. I, I, I you know I, it's come at your own risk really. Right. Especially if you, the way that guy came at Chappelle, I'm like he came with his neck out. Yes. Pop. <laughs> bam. Good night. <laughs> That's my net have now. You, in, in America, we've lost the idea of what dancing is. You know, white people have won the dancing war. I mean, <laughs> let's be honest. Like when you go to like a, an EDM thing, everybody's just jumping up and down, and nobody's dancing anymore. That means white people won. <laughs> and it's either that or you're just fucking ass fucking everybody all night. And I mean, then don't worry, buddy. I can't tell if you're white or not. Um, <laughs> It's not that easy anymore, you know? Back in the day, when you see a white person, you knew they were white immediately. But now you need to confirm. What are you, sir? Are you white? Even you hesitated. 
That's what I love about this part of the world. You can say the word cunt and nobody gets upset. It's true that you guys, you guys say it like it's like, hello, you fucking cunt, how are you? <laughs> oh, you cunt, I haven't seen you in a long time. What are you up to, you fucking twat? Because you're not regular white. You got like hairy immigrant arms. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we are cheap. Everybody's cheap, aren't they? Never call white people cheap. White people get really upset when you call them cheap. You ever call the white person cheap? They get very angry. Because white people actually are, are probably the only people that aren't cheap. You ever call a white guy cheap? You're cheap. Fuck you, I'm cheap. I'll buy you a beer. You want a beer? That's how white guys get around being cheap. You want a beer? 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 Huh? You want a beer? Huh? Fuck you, I'm not, I'm not cheap. I bought everybody beer. Beirut parties like you've never seen before. <laughs> like they, they literally party like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> there could very well be over there, you know what I mean? Look at all these Indian faces, Jesus Christ. Look at you brown bastards, god damn. Indians just look upset that they had to spend money to be here tonight, don't you? <laughs> just the look on their face, just. This is bullshit. I don't know why I'm spending money to see someone that looks just like me. I can stay home and look in the mirror for free. We are an endless supply of cheap jokes. And you know what the best thing about it is? Indian people, we're proud of our cheapness. That's the, you're never gonna insult us by calling us cheap. That's the best part, you know. But here's the thing too. It's not like I'm up here going, you Indian people are cheap and I'm the one that's not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just as fucking cheap as you. The difference is now I have money. <laughs> I'm just cheap in better stores. <laughs> I'll be looking at like an Armani shirt. I hate when this happens. I'm looking at a shirt from like a high-end designer and I flip the tag over and I see made in India. I'm stuck with a real dilemma. I'm like, shit, do I buy this? Or do I call my uncle? <laughs>